good, strong performance. I had a good mentality uh, when they came out of the match. Uh, 75 minutes, a good soccer for me. 15, the bad 15 to start of the section. You got it. The crowd was quiet, too. About the only time the crowd was quiet tonight because the first 15 minutes of the second half and our team was also very quiet. We paid for it, put ourselves under some, some, some undue stress, I think. J Jason, what did you think of that 25-year-old out there wearing number 77 tonight? Anyways. <laughs> 25 or 18? <laughs> yeah, he was incredible tonight. Very, very inspired performance by him. I think he was had a hand in almost all the goals, if not all of them. So. Really, really pleased to have talk about Javier Morales. He looked like he was in mid-season form the way he was performing. Yeah, you know, I think if you put two players like that on the same pitch, the same team, having that kind of night, you know, most of the time you're going to walk out with a positive result. These guys are truly special. How much does it mean, Jason, to you guys to get to get this advance within seven miles that you've been hoping for for a long time? Yeah, um, we have. To be completely honest, I was a little concerned coming into this match because we've we've been talking a lot about it and what we've managed to do is put ourselves under a tremendous amount of pressure. We really raised the level of expectation for ourselves. And on prior occasions we've seen that we've struggled with that. So I was nervous that the guys would come out again very nervous tonight. And then obviously they didn't. So I'm um, extremely pleased by the situation. Onward to go. What, what did you think made the difference in that regard tonight? Uh, Certain players take the lead, do you think? Or? I think, you know, some of it comes down to conversations we've had in the last couple of days, meetings, going over video, talking about the tactics of the situation, trying to improve on our performance from last week. And, and as I've said before, I think a lot of our faults last week were, came about because we, we put too much pressure on ourselves uh, and really got the guys to try to relax a little bit uh, coming into this match. And then, when you, again, if you've got certain players on the park that have extremely good nights and can bring a call to your to your team and that puts you in a good place. Jason, how uh, how difficult was the decision on what to do about Dylan Borcher's spot? How do you feel Schuler did? It was extremely difficult. It, it took a little bit of faith uh, in the end. Um, the rational, I think, the rational decision was to, to play Rashawn. Um, it was leaning that way all week. Um, but again, you know, we say over and over, and I think people don't believe us sometimes, but what you do in the training sessions matters. Uh, and Rashawn struggled a little bit in training this week. Uh, and Chris stepped forward. Uh, and so literally uh, through the training sessions on uh, Friday and Saturday, Chris convinced us that he needed to play. How did you feel he did? I thought he did excellent, excellent, excellent. You talked about expectations uh, causing problems in the past. How do you deal with that for this next round? Mm, I think that we hope that we've learned. You, know, you hope that when you get guys in, in the same situation multiple times, that they improve and they learn. Uh, and so now I think that uh, we've seen if we can calm down, uh, relax a little bit in our possession, uh, that we'll have some success. And so I would hope that in the next round we can we can expound on that and maybe even play better. On both opening goals, it seems like you guys attacked the same spot. Was that Columbus trying to play the offside trap? What happened on those two? Yeah, I think that, you know, I think both plays, if I remember right, and I often don't remember right, but I think they both came in, in Pretty quick transition. A couple of passes from us, and we were able to get behind their center back in that spot. I don't think that there was an offside strap. Typically, teams don't pull an offside strap at the top of their box. I just think it was perhaps uh, we found some gaps with guys and were able to turn and look at their back four, and it's going to be tough to deal with. How would you uh, rate your team's defensive performance overall tonight? It was it was very good. Um, I still think that they. they and Columbus is proving to be a very dangerous team. They created a couple of very dangerous chances against us in both halves. Um, yeah, I would say that if I felt it was a, an A-plus defensive performance, I wouldn't have been concerned at all tonight, and I was certainly concerned for 15 or 20 minutes there in the second half. So there's room for improvement. I'm surprised to see 15,000 people in the stands on March 1st. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, I guess a week or two ago, I would have said I didn't know what kind of crowd we were going to get, but for the past three or four days, management's been telling us we're going to have a really good crowd. Um, so, but I don't know about surprise is not the right word, because uh, I've come to expect a lot from the crowd here in Salt Lake City and expect a lot from the support we've gotten now for a lot of years. I hope, I hope everybody feels like we're paying them back now. Jason, in a couple weeks, we get to play another game at home. Uh, the 
before MLS starts. Talk about how important it'll be having that first game here. I think it, I think it will be important for us. Um, I think that we are typically always an aggressive team. I think we are typically trying to put our best foot forward, trying to put our stamp on matches, uh, and that's difficult for us on the road. And as you saw last week at Columbus, as I said, I, th I think we had so many expectations, and we went there and tried to control the tempo of the match for the 90 minutes. And what it did was it put us in a difficult spot because it was impossible to possess the ball in that field. Uh, so for us to start out at home, I think it, it, it'll allow us a, a chance to kind of just take the reins off the guys and just say, go for it, no fear.